Hello everyone and happy April. This is my 100th vlog, which is just absolutely crazy to me. Um, I've been making videos for almost five years and I'm just so proud of everything I've learned and how much I've grown. If you go back and watch my older videos first, you'll notice that they are much lower quality. I was filming vertically on my iPhone, that's how bad it was. And I was also very, very, very nervous and uncomfortable. And now it's just second nature to me to sit down and talk in front of a camera and post it on YouTube publicly for anyone in the world to be able to find. Since I had been tweeting when I was reorganizing my bookshelves, I thought I would give you a new tour. I did this a while ago, but a lot has changed. I probably have some new books now, and like I said, the organization has changed a lot. So let's go on a little bit of a tour. Jump cut! All right, we will start our tour over here. First we have the small CD section, as well as some of my favorite DVDs, in addition to the many movies we have downstairs. Over here is the books inspired by TV shows and Trivial Pursuit, nonfiction, biographies, magazines, reference, poetry, short story collections, books about writing books and journals, and quick jump cut to the bigger book shelf. Top shelf is similar to how it was before. We have Blackbird manga, TV shows, that's new, they used to be somewhere else. I also have more of them. Tiny shot glass collection, I suppose you can call it. Uh, Gish coffee table books. Knickknacks. Knickknacks. This is the middle grade section, and also somewhat classic section. Then we get into young adult, which is actually alphabetized this time, which it was not before, because I don't know why. But now all of my books in all of the sections are actually alphabetized. Um, nice John Green section with some Hankler Fist decorations. Other dec decorations are just kind of random. More young adults, young adults, young adults, random decorations. I'd like to point out An Imperial Affliction, which is the fictional novel from John Green's The Fault in Our Stars. This was a prop for the movie, but I actually put it in V for Van Houten, not in G for Green, even though John was the one who wrote it. I just find that entertaining. The thing that isn't in alphabetical order is Harry Potter. I suppose Narnia and Hitchhiker's Guide also are not in alphabetical order, but they're just kind of there. But I wanted all of my Harry Potter related books together, even though they weren't all by the same author. And Tales of Beetle the Bard also fit better on the shelf, and I didn't want to move the shelves. Then we have the somewhat older classic book section. A self-published section with me and a few of my friends. And then children's books. There you go. So that about covers it. Be back in a sec. Welcome back. In terms of writing news, I am still on hiatus, but that's going well. And I feel like I'm starting to actually want to think about plots and characters and storylines and everything again in a slightly more serious manner. Um, I'm definitely not ready to come back full time yet. I don't want to rush it, but you know, I don't think it's going to be a huge amount of time until I'm back in the fold. If you follow me on Twitter, I've started posting book recommendations every Saturday. So check out those, new one coming tomorrow. And then for the subsequent weeks, I'm sure I can think of books to recommend for quite a while. And I just want to thank all of you for watching. Whether you've seen all 100 videos or this is your first time tuning in, I appreciate the support. I've said it before, but I do truly mean it. So thank you very much, and I will see you next month for Vlog 101. Bye, everyone.